Alright guys, what is up? It's your boy Will back with another video today. In this video, we'll be talking about Sundell Growers, ticker simple SNDL. Sundell Growers is going crazy after hours. Do not worry, I am here to help. I'll be giving you guys all new buying levels for Sundell Growers. We will also be talking about Tilray, ticker simple T-L-R-Y, also shooting up like crazy. And like I said, do not worry. I'm going to give you guys some key levels that I'll be looking out for on both of these cannabis stocks. The first one we're talking about is Sundell Growers, ticker simple SNDL. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you turn your post notifications so you don't miss the updates. And make sure you watch the videos earlier before this one. Posted some videos about AMC and GME. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you watch the video on MULN. Check that out also. And then I have one more video coming after this one. I know it is a lot of videos today, but as a lot of stuff happens, I try to update you guys the best that I can. So the first one, ticker symbol SNDL, shooting up like crazy, okay? All old levels are irrelevant right now. So I'm not even gonna make the video long. Going like crazy, we wanna be ready for this move. So it's around 64 cents after hours. Around 64 cents after hours. Now, with this, I do see a lot of other cannabis stocks moving right now. But we want to know is we want to know where do we look to enter. So if it does open high to like 64 in that range ish, the buying level is about 60. Now, depending on tomorrow of what it does during normal hours, this buying level might change. It might stay the same. But for right now, 60 cents is the buying level for SNDL. Exit level, we want at least to get a minimum 10% gain. So that'll take us to about 66, but yeah, about 66. So we probably see some resistance in that area anyway. So that's the first range that I'm looking for, about a 10% gain. What also can happen is, say it goes up, it hits that resistance level and it pulls down lower, and then it can hit the buying level. We'll kind of have to see how Monday plays, I mean, not Monday, how tomorrow plays out. But these are the main two levels I'm looking for right now to buy SNDO stocks on their growers. Also, make sure you get your buy and sell signals. And so when I'm buying and selling for options and shares, we do have the original signals right here. You get my buys and sells. We also have a chat room where we talk in the markets every day. We also have a crypto room where we talk also. So make sure you join. Make sure you get the VIP. VIP is almost full. Once it is full, it will be closed. So make sure you get the VIP. You get four monthly live teaching Zooms. You actually get one every week. You get 24 7 access to the crash course so the crash course does come in the vip you also get your own vip structuralized plan to better help you trade in this market like i said vip is more of me teaching you how to trade so make sure you join all these prices are going up soon so make sure you join now and also if you trade forex make sure you come join the forex academy we teach you guys how to trade over here in forex very 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 important if you guys are in the forex market you get 24 7 so your own crash course trade breakdowns live zooms all that and then stock market options crash course, you can use will half off to still get 50% off stock market options crash course. And let's go back to the video. Second one, Tilray Brands, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. Ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. I will make this a little larger also. Make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe. T-L-R-Y. Remove that. Like I said, all O levels irrelevant right now. You need to know new levels I'll be looking out for. Shooting up almost a dollar after hours, about 668. So I feel first resistance probably come around seven dollars. So we could play this one actually two different ways. I actually see some buying. If it opens that high, I actually see want to see some buying, maybe around like six dollars and thirty cents. So how we can do is, say we do not get pullback, okay? Say tomorrow does not pull back on this one and it just shoots up. We look at that resistance level. We want to see the $7, does it break $7, pull back down to it, act as a support, that could be a buy to go higher, or does it come to the $7 mark and actually pull down? That's if it doesn't hit this level, that's how I'm be looking at it to enter on the resistance level. But if it does pull down, then around that 630 area is where I'm looking to buy. Now on both of these, just like Sundell Growers, I might enter on the intraday play, okay? Intraday means I just enter during uh, normal hours and I don't look for the buying level to get hit. Make sure in the buy and sell signals, first link in the description to know if I'm buying or selling for options and shares and how I'm playing both of these. We have a chat when we talk to the markets every day. 
So around that 66 range, we can also look for buying pressure to go above it and then act as support. That could be a buy also. So two different kind of ways that we could be looking for on Tilray. These are the and Sundell. These are the levels I'm kind of looking out for to kind of help you guys maneuver through a little bit. So I hope you guys appreciate the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.